Hi, I'm Michael Rainville, and I've lived in the Third Ward all my life, and I've worked in the Third Ward all my life. As I door knock throughout the ward, it's very interesting to me. First of all, they ask me if I'm a Democrat. Number one question, I've been a Democrat all my life. I agree with Steve Fletcher on so many issues, but there is a big difference, and that's on public safety. Public safety is so complex, there's a balance that's needed between protecting us, but also having a police force that respects us. That can be done. We need to listen to the chief, and we need to support him in his efforts to change the culture. Part of being a leader is, is using the right words. So leaders do not get on a stage at Powderhorn Park and say they're gonna abolish the police without a plan. There has been no plan to make us safer. In fact, we are not a safe city. In 2019, then council member Fletcher turned down a grant from the federal government to set up a dedicated traffic unit, pay for 11 person salary, the squad cars, all the training, the salaries, I wonder what the heck was he thinking? So when you see someone running a red light, uh, speeding down the street, racing, doing the donuts, ask yourself, why was that money turned down for that traffic unit? I don't know what he was thinking. Our brown and black brothers and sisters are suffering the most from crime. When I ask them about this defund the police movement, they say it's a big mistake because they're getting hurt bad. Anyone can govern during good times, but you cannot hide your incompetence uh, during a crisis. And we saw that play out uh, in, in City Hall and calls like defund. Abolish the police is such a destructive and counterproductive statement. Since late April, six children have been shot in Minneapolis. Two of them have died. It's heartbreaking to learn of these children with all the gunshot wounds and deaths. I will be a public servant. I will listen to you. Recently, we opened our campaign office on East Hennepin Avenue, right next to Kramarczyk's Deli, and the amount of support was so humbling. I have a groundswell of support, and I appreciate each and every one of you who are helping me, helping me learn, helping me win this election. I've had so many endorsements, whether they're personal with people like Don and Sandra Samuels, Tom Hoke, uh, Sharon Sales Belton. I hope you'll bring that spirit of collaboration and coalition building back to City Hall, because we need it now more than ever. Or, or major unions like, like the Teamsters and the, the firefighters. Public safety just isn't the police, it's the fire department. As I run, as I work very hard to win this office, I think many times of my father, Pat Rainville. He taught me and my brothers to never run away from a problem, to always be strong. And I'm very proud to run for this office. I'm very excited to serve the people of the Third Ward.